So this year was a lot of firsts for me. I visited many different places, was welcomed into many different spaces. I met a lot of amazing people who somehow discovered me either on social media or through a video that somebody shared on their story. And it is because of this, it's because of this, you know, this kind of web of connections that happens on social media that led to people reaching out and, um, you know, wanting me to perform in all these really cool places. And I think of all the places that we had been, we were in Massachusetts, we were in Tampa, we were in Virginia, we were in, uh, I feel like there's somewhere I'm missing. Oh, we were in LA tons of times, but I think the one that really topped it for me was Hawaii. Um, clearly my very first time there and it meant a lot to me because that's actually where my dad had his very first like tour. Um, he is the front man of this reggae band called Soldiers and he had went on tour like, I wanna say like right up until I was like <clears throat> born. And um, it was something that I'd always wanted to do because he always spoke about it and it just seemed like such a great time. And even though I wasn't there for very long, we were literally only there for 48 hours, the island just holds a different vibration, a different frequency. It felt like we were there for longer than 48 hours with the amount of things and places and people that we saw and we met and everybody was just so kind and welcoming and warm. And the show was just so crazy. Like I don't usually cry. Like I'll cry at some point in the night when I perform because I get so emotional. But for the Hawaii show, I didn't even get to say hi. I got on the stage and like everybody was just like, Oh, like that the crowd was just so open and it just I felt so safe and I just couldn't help but cry and I just want to say mahalo to everybody that might be out there. Thank you so much for uh, welcoming me uh, to your island. It made me feel so warm and nice inside. Uh, so that was a really great um, experience and uh, performance too. I think another really fun performance was um, Tampa. Tampa was awesome uh, because it was really intimate and I know that, you know, as I continue to like, you know, do these things and train and I know that the gigs will only get bigger. So I really do my best to take in those very intimate moments that I get to have with fans during like the meet and greets and stuff. And Tampa was such an experience like so, so, so much energy happening there. Like, I couldn't see because I don't, I wear glasses, but um, my friends told me that like people were crying and like they were just so, you know, into the performance and that, that, that means a, a, that's a big deal for me, of course. And uh, it was just really awesome. And I think the best part too of Tampa was how the host introduced me. They go by them, they, theirs, and just respect that, it's okay. That made me feel really nice because he let people know what my pronouns are and I love that. Um, so thank you, wherever you are, I love you. And uh, yeah, where else, where else have I been? Oh, and I did my first homecoming show too at uh, Hampton University, a very uh, historic black university, which was like really cool and exciting. And it's really cool to, you know, not be in my room. <laughs> Even though I love singing, uh, doing my lives on Instagram and TikTok and on social media, just because I know that there are people that can't go out and can't be around so many people just because of the state of the world. And I love that there will always be that kind of access. Um, for those that can't make it, you know, you'll always have some, you'll always have some form of message that you can get. And I'm never gonna stop doing the lives, just so you guys know, because those are my babies. That's how you guys found me, you know? When I was going live on TikTok every single day, I was going live on TikTok. No, I was going live on TikTok and Instagram every day for about, for about six, five, five, six months straight, just 
Every night, I would do it at 8 p.m. I would do it at 12 a.m. Sometimes, sometimes 1 a.m. Because I know that that's where all my anxious people are at. I know you're on TikTok, on social media scrolling. I know you. I am you. Yes. And we would just kind of vibe. We would just be there singing, connecting, experiencing all of these things, these feelings. And I'm, I'm never going to stop doing that. I know for sure. But performing live is just, I missed it. I haven't performed live at least before I had my show for Juneteenth in uh, Brooklyn. I hadn't performed live in front of an audience since the top of... 2020, yeah, that was the last time I had a, ooh, actually no, it was before that, 2019, because I'm thinking of a virtual performance, so I was definitely really nervous because, you know, haven't performed in, that, in front of that many people in person in so long, you know, it's not really the same as like the lives, even though in the lives I've performed in front of, what, 3,000, 4,000 people at a time, but it's just, it's always gonna be different in person and I, I can't wait to have more of those moments. Definitely, definitely another tour coming up. Stay tuned though.